Hey, this is Steven from LegitPC, and today we're going to go over another utility called Smart Defrag. And this is the new version. Uh, there used to be Smart Defrag 2, this is Smart Defrag 3, and this is currently in beta. So this is a, uh, um, a disk defragment uh, utility. So this defrags your hard drives to improve performance and seek times to find those files and keep everything organized because computers will tend to throw files all over the place and just reference back to them in order to speed up seek times and things like that. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go over some of the options in here and I'm going to compare this to Smart Defrag 2 and show you some of the improvements because I just found out that there was a Smart Defrag 3 and Smart Defrag 2 was actually the old version. So. Uh, right here you can see the drives that are in my PC. I have an SSD, um, a media drive, fast media drive, and applications. So as you can see automatically the SSDs are not picked for defragmentation. You do not defrag SSDs. It will not help and it will decrease the life of your SSD. So don't do it. And it uh, in Smart Defrag 2 these you cannot even select. And here it gives you the options to select them but uh, let's not do that. So. In this case, we could, clean, uh, we could turn on automatic defrag, and you just flip these switches here. And uh, basically, what automatic defrag does is that at a certain point, when your computer draw, I'll show you that option actually, rather than just explaining it. So we go to automatic defrag. Okay, so start automatic defrag when the system is idle, extend, uh, exceeds five minutes, and then when you come back and you bring your PC up above sixty percent resource usage then it will turn off the automatic defrag and it will start again so let's say like you know 40 I want to change it to 40 so and you could also change the the idle time so if you leave your computer go get something to eat come back uh, you know spend 15 minutes to go get something to eat your computer will automatically defrag itself so you don't have to spend extended amount of time checking to see how much uh, to to let your um, to let your drives get out of control. They also have this option called uh, boot time defrag. This is the best for your SSD. Uh, uh, not your SSD. Sorry, don't do it on SSDs. I meant for your uh, for your uh, operating system drive. You see that it has an option to do system files. Basically, uh, what you'll see is that if you do this, it will go underneath your operating system and start defragging before your operating system boots and loads. Basically, that means that it can move system files that cannot be moved when your operating system is running and give you better, faster boot times and things like that and more organization in your files. So, there's a whole bunch of options with that. Of course, I'm not going to do that because my, my uh, operating system is on an SSD, so not a good deal. Basically, what you could do is you go to boot time defrag, and then you can set it every seven days on the first boot of the day. Or you could do it uh, every day of the first boot, every boot, only next boot, things like that. And very, very good in here. You know, you could change it. But right now, I don't have that enabled. And I'm not going to enable that on these other two drives, but you could do that by just flipping this on and off. So uh, then we have, um, so that's the automatic defrag, that's the boot time defrag. So let's go ahead and take a look at the standard um, defrag options. So here we have analyze. We could analyze what the problem is and here is where you do the defrag. So you can analyze to see if you need a defrag and then here it'll show you in the certain colors. So here black, ooh, let's go back. Black is free space, blue is normal red is fragmented, white is moving, and gray is unmovable. So here we have mostly um, red. We have quite a bit of blue. Blue is normal. Red is quite a bit there. So let's see what our fragment fragmentation rate is 16 percent which is pretty bad. So this should definitely be automatically defragged and maybe even go through a state of um, completely you know defragging everything. And here it'll show you um, you know all the stuff that's in there and all the stuff that's analyzed and how many fragments are in each file and uh, the problems with that and this type of thing so then we go fragment and then they also have this new option called defrag and pri prioritize files 
So basically what that will do is it will go in and uh, you know clean up all your stuff uh, and prioritize your files depending on how much you use uh, ooh, Windows. Oh yeah, it also has this Windows Metro app. This is a new part, which I don't have 8.1, so that's uh, no good. Anyways, uh, it'll basically prioritize your files, so the files that you use most will be um, set to where you can get to them easier. So let's go ahead and, and see what that will do here. So here you see the fragment time, and it's only going to take 35 seconds. So we'll let that go through, and maybe we'll click through some of these other things while it's uh, defragmenting. You can see that it's moving the files, and uh, because you know the white is moving, so every time it does the white, it's moving and changing it back to normal. So it's getting rid of the red blocks and changing them to blue blocks, and it's going to go through and do all that. And we have 1,227 fragments to go through, and we are going to do that. So. And then now you can hear you can see the automatic defrag. It'll tell you what's going on. 11%, low, very low CPU usage, high uh, seek rate, 50%, putting it all on the disk and uh, taking care of that. So now after we defrag it once, the automatic defrag will take care of it forever as long as this program's running in your in your program tray down there at the bottom. So let's go ahead and pause this and not let it go through its whole time. But you see it's only, you know, maybe 15th done, something like that. And the estimated time has gone away and it's still got plenty of red blocks to do. I will continue this and get it all completed. But first, let's go ahead and hit stop. And we're going to check these more settings. So here we have the general settings. So load automatically, you want this on Windows Startup. This will do the automatic defrag, automatically check for updates. And this one, stop using defragment while using batteries, probably a good idea. And you probably don't want to skip files. So this is also probably another one where um, when fragmentation exceeds 1%, probably have this to be always defrag automatic defrag schedule you could also schedule your defrag so you could turn it on and defrag it at a certain time so you could turn this on so but first I probably got to select the drive okay there we go select a drive so we're talking about defrag and prioritize files and then you can configure this to do whenever you want so here we say every week on a Monday at 10 p.m. and this is a 24 hour time so uh, we're not going to do that we're going to go ahead and turn that guy off and then here's the boot time frag, uh, defrag which we were going over change you know the different kinds of boots it also has got a disk cleanup utility which I usually use C Cleaner. I haven't really used this one yet, so I'm not going to really worry about it too much. Here's the exclude you list and different kinds of skins. Also, you could change the transparency. And then also, if you're colorblind, it could change this, this map here to something different so that you could see it. And uh, that's basically it. So this is a great utility to keep your computer defragged and it will only do it when you're not there and idling and it'll automatically defrag and you can even set it up to do a boot time defrag. If you have a hard drive for your um, operating system, that's probably the best choice. Not unless uh, you have um, a lot of programs running. For example, let's say I'm doing video editing and you can see here the fragmentation, the red, this one's a lot more fragmented. And this is the one ha where I have all my video editing software on. So let's say I'm running video editing software and it won't let me move it when it's doing its automatic defrag. So I could restart and it will run underneath everything and probably get a better defrag than it would if I do it while I was running. So you could do that and automatically set defrag or even change the, the, the boot time defrag right here. And that's basically it. So a great program, 
you know, try it out. I've always had it in my utility next to Sea Cleaner that you saw another review of. Check that out. Um, it's a great utility. Not much for me, too much anymore because I have a lot of SSDs. But obviously, you see that this is highly frag fragmented, so it would definitely need a cleaning. And uh, my laptop, I definitely for sure. This is a for sure thing on your laptop. Sp uh, speed up that 5400. RPM drive really really slow seek times on that drive so you want to keep everything nice and organized and very quick So get it this is free if I haven't mentioned before this is free uh, You can get even a paid version or get some of the other utilities this is from IO bit so check them out Type in smart defrag 3 into Google and you will see this particular program and download it and just have it just defrag once and then have everything set to auto automatic defrag and set your boot time defrag and never worry about it again maybe update it when it has an update but that's about it it's kind of a set up thing and then just forget about it and it'll take care of everything for you so this has been Steven from Legit PC and this is my review of Smart Defrag 3 which is in beta 2.0 uh, I'm not even going to show you two, uh, 2.0 3, 3, uh, defrag 3 is way better than 2 as I could see already so uh, yeah Highly recommend it, get it, use it, and just sit back and let it do its job. So if you like my videos, please subscribe for more videos like it. And I thank you for watching, and stay tuned for my next video. Peace.